All right, guys, welcome back. I am back with another one. Super here. All right, today is going to be an ultimate beer review. I'm going to be reviewing 11 Canadian beers. I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best. I'm inspired to do this kind of videos because of the Try Guys, so I'm going to do a Canadian version. Without further ado, I'm ready for this. I got the beers in the fridge. They're nice and cool. About to present this on the table. So you guys ready? You guys ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Woo! Mmm. Are you drinking Coors Light? Uh-huh. Yeah, why? Go back to sleep. Oh. Oh, All right, guys. I'm here with the table and the beers in the back. All right, so this is my presentation right here. Without further ado, I'm gonna be starting off with the first beer. All right, so. All right, man. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, oh, the first beer. Oh, sorry. It's taking so long. Come on, first beer, man. Uh -huh. Here you go. Canadian Moss. Oh, here you go, Moss. All right, thanks, man. Hey man, I better not be catching you drinking any more Coors Light. Oh, oh, oh don't worry. Um, I won't be drinking Coors Light anymore. Don't worry about it. Um, bad experience, so done. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So the first beer I'm gonna be starting with here is Molson Canadian Lager. All right. This is 473 ml and 5% in ABV. So I'm gonna get myself a glass. I forgot about the glass. Hold on. Wow. All right. So I've had this before. I totally forgot how they taste like because I stopped just drinking them so there we go all right all right that's super super golden very very clear yeah it, it doesn't taste like much I'm definitely gonna say that oh. Yeah, but it's pretty smooth though. I can definitely say that. It's definitely better than Coors Light though. Yeah, so definitely say this is not bad. So we're gonna be ranking these. So I'm gonna be putting this in the middle right here. And then we're gonna be going on to the next one, all right? So the next one is going to be Labatt Blue. All right, I remember having this when I was really young. My father used to drink this a lot. This used to be one of his favorite beers. I was not really into Labatt Blue that, during that time. I was drinking Budweiser. Apparently Budweiser used to be really good, but now it's not. But uh, either way, let's give someone a shot. 5%. I swear all of these are just gonna be nice and golden. Same look as the Canadian Molson here. It's more of a more malted smell. Um, so it tastes like. Mm. Okay, surprisingly, this one has a lot more flavor. A little more sweet. Oh, pretty smooth, really smooth. This is actually pretty good. I'm surprised how good this one is. The Bat Blue. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like, um, like how would you say? Like water? <laughs> oh. Really crisp and clean, first of all. Not too much of uh, a splash of hops. It's, it's very well balanced, but um, this is a beer that you actually just keep pounding. Oh. Yeah, this one has more of a sweetness towards it. So I like this one. It's not bad. So I definitely say this is going to be just above Molson Canadian, all right? So here we go. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next one. They all taste kind of similar, but another one tastes a lot more better. All right, next is Moosehead Canadian Lager. Supposedly, this is actually a really good lager. I've tried this one before. This was actually made in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, all right? Um, it was actually made by one lady when it first started off. She crafted her own beer and it passed on to generations to generations to generations. Uh, I, I believe it was the oldest family. Yeah, so this is since a long time ago, 1867. So let's try this one out. They're all golden. They're all lagers. Not too much of a smell. They all smell the same. Oh yeah. This definitely has a lot of taste. Definitely a lot of taste. Not too much on the hops, just have a little tingle of it, but more of the barley. This is actually good. This has a lot of taste compared to compared to the other two lagers I drank here. Mm. Mm. This is definitely good. This actually has quality in it, so I'm definitely gonna rank this right here next to the Black Boot. So this is first, second, third. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next one and see how that one tastes like. So the next one is Carling 
lager. All right, I remember having these in the summertime with my friends. Uh, we used to drink this a lot. Um, it wasn't bad, it was like cheap beer, but it tastes pretty decent, all right? It wasn't like the worst, worst beer I ever drank in my life. So I remember these when we used to hang out at house parties and such. Let's give someone a shot. I totally forgot how this one tastes like. Never had it for years, actually. Nice and golden. This has a weird, weird smell to it. Like it's like like the beer has been open for three hours or something like that. You know, we leave a beer open and it smells kind of like skunky. This has a little skunky smell to it. Is it? Okay. Really cheap beer. <laughs> it does have a weird taste. I would say it's completely skunky, but the taste is alright. definitely has taste into it. You don't just taste like nothing. It, you do taste something. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. This is what we used to drink when we were like 22 to 25 years old. And it's not bad, actually. Oh, oh yeah. So I can definitely say this is going to be above Canadian Molson. Probably, it's, it's cheap, but it's not... A bad tasting beer at all. Either way, let's go on to the next one, guys. All right, the next one is from Mill Street Brewery Organic Lager. All right, this is only 4.2 in percentage and 473 ml. This is brewed in Toronto, downtown Toronto. Um, Mill Street is actually one of my favorite breweries, um, besides Flying Monkey. But Mill Street actually brews quality beer, quality, quality beer. I would definitely say this could possibly be a good lager. I've tried it before, it's really good. Golden. It's like the rest of them. There's no scent. It's like barely any scent at all. Oh yeah. Definitely really, really clean. Very, very clean. Like there's nothing more I can say that's cleaner than all of these ones. This has a real. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little too light for me. Yeah. Really smooth. I like it. So I'm gonna definitely put this one up. Uh, whew. I'll definitely say, I'm sorry in the back blue. We're gonna go on to the next one, guys. Whew, wow, this thought getting a little full. All right, James, okay. Why is my button coming off? So next one is going to be James Reddy, 5.5. The name of this brand right here, James Reddy, his name is actually James Reddy, it's kind of funny. And I believe this was in Nova Scotia as well too. Um, I think they're branched with Moosehead. I believe that's that's the case. I remember this when I was like around 25 to 28 years old. We, we started slamming so much of these. They're so enjoyable and they get you drunk. James Reddy, you ready? I think I'm just pouring a little too much. Oops. Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, James Reddy. It does have that kick. It does have that kick. Nice, sweet taste. A little bit maltiness. I don't taste absolutely no hops at all. Um, they possibly could have hops in this, but this is actually pretty, pretty good. I like this one. James Reddy's a, a good kicker. With flavor and alcohol. Mm -hmm. This one has a lot of taste. This one's easy uh, to rank with in all of these ones. There you go. James ready. <sighs> okay. I gotta stop pouring too much. It's gonna be a taste test. <clears throat> Alright. On to the next one, guys. Next one is going to be Alexander's Keith India Pale Ale. I think this is possibly uh, related to Moosehead as well, too. I don't drink this too often, though. No, uh, this one? Not at all. Oh, whoa. It smells like a little bit like sweet socks, sweet smelly socks. I mean, not, not in a bad way, but a good way. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's different. That is different. That is different from all of them. Oh yeah. This, I would definitely say it tastes more of a little bit on the malt liquor side, if, if I'm allowed to say that, guys. It has a potency of malt and just a little splash of hops. Not too much of a sweetness, just slightly a little bit. This one definitely has a lot of taste. Oh. oh. my tongue pretty good so I'm definitely gonna say oh wow this is, this is 
is gonna have to be here. And it's funny how they're all green too. Look at this, they're all green. I think that's just perfect order right there. Okay, next one, old style Pilsner. Never had this ever in my life. Okay, this one just has a familiar scent to Alexander Skeeth, but it's just a little slightly different. Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, um. Very similar to Alexander Skeeth. I'm definitely gonna say this belongs here. It's not bad. Next going to be steam whistle premium pilsner right so <clears throat> this was actually brewed in toronto i think this was discovered around 2002 <clears throat> or the 2000s this was something new compared to like all of these other beers this one's going to be pretty exciting all right Okay. It's just good. It's just too good. It is. It honestly, it tastes a little bit like uh, more of an amber type of uh, ale mixed with um, a lager. Um, a nice, smooth, crisp, and clean taste as well too. Um, perfectly balanced. Medium body. I believe it's like a medium body. It's actually really good. Just well crafted. So I'm definitely gonna say that this is top rank out of all of them. Steam Whistle is something else. God almighty, all right? This is really good. We are going on to the next one. Lakers Ice. This is actually brewed in Ontario. I don't know where on Ontario, but these are like really cheap beer that can get you messed up. If you're looking for a good deal and you're looking to get drunk, this is just perfect. 5.5, .5. Lakers Ice, boom. Oh. oh, oh boy, no, 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 not right now. Oh, the smell is so powerful on that one. It's very, very pungent, guys. Holy sh Oh my god, I feel like what? <laughs> oh god, I feel like I want to barf. This makes me want to barf because it smells, smells so dirty. Oh god. Oh hell no. Super super strong taste for something that's only 5.5%. Strong sense of smell and also taste. But it gets you messed up. This is actually the cheapest one I think out of all of them. But I definitely say this. It does beat this. It does beat Canadian Molson. It does beat Canadian Molson. I definitely say that. Why? Because Can Canadian Molson doesn't even have any taste. You can chug it like nothing and it's just like water. And last but not least, number 11 guys. Whew, this one's gonna be a special. Last but not least, the bats, maximum wise. Memories on these when I was uh, I was young, when I was like in my 20s, early 20s. But this was actually the perfect uh, beer to actually drink. That's cheap and also to get really effed up on. It's a 7.1, really strong beer. Oh boy, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> okay, this one has a similar smell to Liquor's Ice, but it's a really pleasant smell. It's not so aggressive like Lakers Ice, right? Where it's only 5.5% and it smells like that. This one's a 7.1. It has this nice tone to it. A nice... Lovely. Oh, f yeah. Okay, I'd definitely say Maximum Ice is more of an upgraded version of Lakers Ice. Even though 7.1% is a lot more stronger, but it's a lot more smoother, a lot more clean, a lot more crisp, a lot more taste, and it's more satisfying. i definitely say Maximum Ice packs its punch, and I like it. So I'm definitely gonna say Maximum Ice, and it's just about right here. Oh boy. So from worst to best, 
I'm sorry, Canadian Molson, um, not that great. Liquor ice, too, too pungent on the smell and taste, and it's not that flavorful. Carling, decent, a um, little bit flavoring. Labatt Blue, just a little more slightly compared to Carling. Um, organic Lager, nice, crisp, and clean, um, perfect. It's just, just purity in this one. Um, Pilsner, nothing much to say about it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, like I said, not too much. This one, strong. Maximum Ice is strong, 7.1. But based on ABV, it has a good balance of, of the ingredients. It's just perfect. And it gets you really f***ed up. Alexander's Keith, a little bit of sweetness, a nice tone towards it. It's good. I like it. Well balanced, uh, more of like a medium body. Uh, James Reddy, a little bit more uh, potent on the uh, ABV. Very delicious, sweet, and uh, very clean to drink. All right, so Moosehead Lager definitely is the second winner. All right, uh, this is perfectly crafted with the uh, 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 the touch of hops and also uh, the barley as well too, and uh, just a little bit of sweetness, not too much. This <clears throat> steam whistle, top rated, I would say is the best. The medium body, just perfect. The um, the aromas, not too much, just a slight smell of a little bit of hoppiness and sweetness. So this one's perfectly balanced, and I think personally, steam whistle wins this. Out of all of them, so. Alright guys, peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed the beer review and also rankings as well too. Um, don't forget to drop a comment below if you guys want to see American beers, um, European beers, um, 40 ounces. Whatever you guys want to see, drop in a comment below. I'm going to be doing this once a month. I hope you guys support this video and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace out. Much love. This is not going to taste good. Oh, oh boy. That was so bad. Right about here. That's it. <coughs> <coughs>